On a sunny afternoon in the early 2000s, the staff at Wendy's were busy serving a steady stream of customers. The manager, Sarah, was proud of her team's hard work and dedication, which had led to their location being recognized as one of the best in the region. In the dining area, families and friends chatted and laughed as they enjoyed their meals. Among the customers was a young couple named Tom and Lisa, who were regulars at the restaurant. They often stopped by after work to grab a bite and catch up on their day. As the day progressed, the staff noticed an unkempt man in his 40s enter the restaurant. He had a wild look in his eyes, and a nervous demeanor that made those around him uneasy. He ordered a small meal, and took a seat in the far corner of the dining area, occasionally glancing around and muttering under his breath. As the unkempt man continued his strange behavior, Sarah decided to approach him and ask if he needed any assistance. He stared at her for a moment before suddenly standing up, shouting incoherently, and knocking over his tray in the process. The noise startled the customers, and the atmosphere in the restaurant grew tense. Unsure of how to handle the situation, Sarah called the police while instructing her staff to keep an eye on the man. Tom and Lisa, concerned for their safety, moved to a different section of the restaurant, but they couldn't shake the feeling of unease that had settled upon them. When the police arrived, they attempted to question the man, but he became more agitated and erratic. In a sudden and horrifying move, he pulled a knife from his coat and lunged at the nearest officer, managing to slash the officer's arm before being subdued. The restaurant erupted into chaos as people screamed and scrambled to exit the building. The injured officer was rushed to the hospital, and the man was arrested on charges of assault and disturbing the peace. As it turned out, he was a known transient in the area with a history of mental health issues. He had stopped taking his medication and became increasingly unstable, leading to the frightening incident at Wendy's. The community was shaken by the terrifying encounter, and the restaurant's reputation took a hit. Though the staff continued to provide excellent service, customers couldn't help but feel uneasy when they visited, and many opted to frequent other fast food establishments instead. Sarah, deeply affected by the incident, began organizing community outreach programs to raise awareness about mental health and the importance of seeking help. Tom and Lisa, though initially frightened by their experience, became staunch supporters of Sarah's efforts, hoping that their town could learn from the tragic event and come together to support those in need. In the years that followed, the Wendy's incident became a turning point for the small rural town. Sarah's efforts to promote mental health awareness led to the establishment of new resources and support systems for those struggling with mental illness. The town grew closer, united by their shared experience and desire to help one another. Though the chilling memory of the incident still lingered, the town's residents found solace in the knowledge that they were better equipped to handle similar situations in the future. The Wendy's restaurant eventually regained its popularity, serving as a symbol of the town's resilience and commitment to overcoming adversity. Tom and Lisa, who continued to visit Wendy's regularly, eventually got married and started a family of their own. They often shared the story of the incident with their children, emphasizing the importance of compassion and understanding when it came to mental health issues. As for Sarah, she eventually left her position as manager to pursue a career in mental health advocacy. She continued to work closely with the community, using her platform to create a lasting positive impact on the lives of those affected by mental illness. The Wendy's incident, though a chilling and tragic event, became a catalyst for change in the small rural town. It taught the residents the importance of empathy, understanding, and the need for mental health resources. The story serves as a poignant reminder of the impact that a single event can have on a community, and the power of unity and compassion in the face of adversity. On a stormy evening in 1997, the McDonald's staff were preparing to close up for the night. The rain poured relentlessly outside, making the night darker and more sinister than usual. As the last customers left the restaurant, the crew started their routine cleanup. At the far end of the dining area, a young girl named Emily played with her Happy Meal toy, waiting for her mother to finish her shift. Emily's mother, Susan, was a dedicated and hard-working employee who had recently been promoted to store manager. As the thunder rumbled in the distance, Emily became frightened and asked her mother if they could go home. Susan assured Emily that the storm would pass soon and that they would be on their way. In the kitchen, a young man named David, 
frustrated with his job, mumbled under his breath about the long hours and low pay. As he scrubbed the grill, a dark thought crossed his mind. What if he could make everyone pay for his misery? With the storm raging outside, David waited for the perfect moment to enact his twisted plan. As the other employees continued their tasks, unaware of the danger that lurked in the shadows, David made his way to the storage room. There, he retrieved a can of gasoline that was kept for the generator in case of a power outage. He poured the gasoline throughout the kitchen and dining area, careful to avoid drawing attention to himself. Emily, still playing with her toy, looked up as she caught a whiff of the strong fumes. Curious, she wandered towards the kitchen, just as David struck a match and ignited the gasoline. The fire erupted, quickly engulfing the restaurant. Susan, realizing the danger, screamed for Emily and rushed towards the kitchen, but the flames had already blocked her path. The staff and Susan frantically tried to extinguish the fire, but it was too late. The fire department arrived just in time to rescue Emily, but the rest of the staff, including Susan, perished in the inferno. The town was shaken by the tragedy, and people mourned the loss of their friends and neighbors. David was arrested and charged with arson and murder. He showed no remorse for his actions, adding to the horror of the incident. The McDonald's was left in ruins, a dark scar on the town's memory. Locals claimed that on certain nights they could hear screams and cries coming from the charred remains of the restaurant. Some even claimed to see the ghost of Susan, forever searching for her daughter in the ashes. Years passed, and the town began to rebuild. The abandoned McDonald's, however, remained untouched, a constant reminder of the tragedy that had occurred. As time went on, the haunting stories and eerie sightings continued, and the site became known as the Haunted McDonald's. Curious teenagers would often break into the ruins to explore, daring each other to spend a night inside. Many would return with stories of ghostly apparitions and disembodied voices, further fueling the legend of the Haunted McDonald's. Despite its chilling history, the abandoned McDonald's still stands today, a monument to the town's tragic past. Some townspeople have petitioned for the ruins to be demolished and replaced with a memorial. But for now, the haunted McDonald's remains a magnet for ghost hunters, thrill seekers, and the morbidly curious. The tragic tale of the haunted McDonald's is a chilling reminder of the darkness that can lurk beneath the surface of everyday life. It serves as a cautionary tale for the town's residents, urging them to never take their loved ones for granted and to cherish the moments they have together. As for Emily, she grew up to become a strong and resilient woman, deeply affected by the loss of her mother. Although she moved away from the town, she would occasionally return to visit the place where her mother took her last breath, silently paying her respects. And so the tragic tale of the haunted McDonald's remains deeply ingrained in the town's collective memory. A chilling story that reminds us all of the fragility of life and the potential for darkness to emerge from the most unexpected of places. 